What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now today I wanted to make a video where I just go over one of my favorite Pokemon and explain why it struggles so much within the VGC 2021 metagame, uh, and also how I would buff it to make sure that in future generations, let's say hypothetically in Gen 9 they gave it a different ability, uh, how I would personally buff it to make sure that it would actually find relevance within a VGC metagame. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and comment down below a Pokemon you want to see buffed because I might just make this a little running series, a nice quick video that I can make uh, every once in a while uh, regarding a Pokemon that I believe needs buffs. So yeah, comment down below a Pokemon you would buff and how you would do it. So. The Pokemon I want to talk about today is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, my second favorite Pokemon just behind Honchkrow, Golisopod. I was originally going to record a showdown live with the Spiritomb team, but it's not quite done so I didn't want to, you know, just lose every single game. So Golisopod is a really interesting Pokemon in the fact that it is extremely defensive, in fact people think that, people like just kind of assume that this thing is meant to be a purely offensive Pokemon because of its signature move first impression, which this is the strongest first impression user. I believe Durant also gets it, but it has a chance to miss. So that's this is the thing that Glyspot has over that. Um, basically, it has 75 HP, 125 attack, 140 defense, 60 special attack, 90 special defense, and 40 speed. This Pokemon has phenomenal stats. This is probably one of the better stat spreads um, that you'll see throughout any Pokemon from Gen 7 or even Gen 8. Uh, basically, this guy is one of the bulkiest Pokemon on the physical side of things, but also has substantial bulk on the special side of things. So the only, like the only way people will try to run it in VGC right now, at least from what I've seen, uh, is an Assault Vest set with just Max Max and four defense, first impression, liquidation, Aqua Jet, and Leech Life. Now you would think that on the surface this is one of the better Pokemon just stat spread wise. However, when you take into account its ability and the fact that it is just such a such a garbage ability, uh, emergency exit when it reaches half health or less it will automatically switch out. Now, this wouldn't be an issue if they were to rework Emergency Exit so that way its attacks still worked, like it could go for a liquidation after reaching below half health and then automatically switch out. However, uh, it sort of just negates your turn, which is why they gave it so much access to cool priority moves like Sucker Punch, Aqua Jet, and First Impression, so that way you would be more likely to get an attack off before Emergency Exit procced. However, this ability, in switching it out, not only negates its abilities on the offensive side, but it also makes it so running a defensive set isn't too smart considering you don't calc for living things at like 90% or even 99%. You have to calc to live things at 49% which is a lot harder. You have to make sure you have, you're only taking about 49% damage from certain moves to make sure that you can actually get them off before emergency exit works. So that is a huge downside to Glyspot. It makes it very difficult to use in a VGC metagame where there are a lot of flying types, especially this, this time around with max airstream and stuff. And on top of that, emergency exit is one of the abilities that, um, just even it works even though you're Dynamax. So uh, while Hustle doesn't have the downside of like missing or anything, or Gorilla Tactics isn't active when Dynamaxed, Glycopod just straight up will switch out when it's Dynamaxed if it reaches below half health. So that's a really big downside to this guy that makes it difficult to use. Now, personally, Goli I believe Glycopod moveset wise has everything he needs to succeed, especially when they gave him access to close combat and stuff. I think he has everything he needs to succeed. The only issue is the ability. And granted, we could turn off the ability by using something like a uh, Weezing, which I don't think that's the best option because if you're using Weezing Glycopod, at that point you're using a mediocre Pokemon and a pretty okay Pokemon and just making one good Pokemon when you could just run two better Pokemon. It's it's very difficult to justify using Weezing Glycopod in my opinion. Um, I am running Glycopod in Players Cup 2, but I'm or Players Cup 3, but I'm using him in a very supportive sense. Uh, so how would I buff it? I believe that the only thing that really needs to change is Emergency Exit. Legitimately, you could just give this guy no ability and he'd be better than he is right now. Uh, but I feel like since he only has one ability, they can literally just give him a hidden ability and it would fix everything. So what I'm presenting here are three hidden abilities that I think would absolutely fix Glycopod's issue uh, and not only just make him usable, but actually make him excel in certain areas. So the first one I want to present is Tough Claws. Now, obviously, Glycopod does have some pretty tough claws. They're absolutely massive. But because most of his moves are already contact, as you can see, he has first impression. He has Aerial Lace, Aqua Jet, Brick Break. He's got close combat, uh, Drill Run. All these things are 
just contact physical moves. Coming off of 125 base attack, a first impression would do insane amounts of damage. I think that first impression would be one of the strongest moves for people to watch out for with that, uh, what is it? What is Tough Claws? I believe it's 30% boost. So that's insane. Um, I feel like that would just allow Glyspot to actually fulfill a physically offensive role that uh, not many Pokemon can. Basically, being able to tank hits so well and deal a solid amount of damage would make him a solid Trick Room Pokemon. But not only that, because he's no longer switching out at half health, he would be a very solid Dynamax option. He'd be able to wall things like Glacier, Metagross, uh, any real physical attacker that isn't carrying electric or flying coverage, he could wall. In fact, this guy takes non-stab max rock falls pretty well, even with emergency exit. I have seen some calcs where I can take less than uh, the amount required if I set up the correct conditions. So yeah, I feel like Glyspot, if it had tough claws, it would be a much better offensive Pokemon and it would actually bring its offensive potential a little bit higher than its defensive potential, making it so it's sort of like the best of both worlds. So I, I think that's the first way I would buff him. This is the hypothetical set I would run, just max HP, max attack, four defense, uh, adamant nature, life orb, first impression, leech life, liquidation, close combat. And then the close combat, the downside of lowering your defenses wouldn't make it so you're more likely to get switched out at the end of the turn. I feel like that's absolutely huge. So the next ability that I think would make a ton of sense for Glycopod and actually make him probably one of the better support Pokemon in the metagame is Intimidate. Now, Glycopod with Intimidate would be one of the most physically bulky Pokemon in the metagame. And on top of that, he has access to essentially a better Snarl bug. Uh, Struggle bug is like just a better Snarl pretty much. It can't miss and it lowers the opponent's special attack stages by one. So what you could do is you could run a full physical defensive Glycopod. You could run like Leftovers or you could run uh, a Figgy Berry or a Citrus Berry or whatever you wanted. And just by being able to switch this guy in and out, using Intimidate to lower their attack stats, using First Impression every time you come in to hit something really hard, spamming Wide Guard to block things like Rock Slide or Electro Web, or even Earthquake for like a partner stack attack or Colossal. That is absolutely insane. Struggle Bug to lower their um, their special offenses even more is really big, and just having Liquidation as a solid uh, final move is really nice. Or you could even just go full bug and you could run Leech Life to get yourself some longevity in the field. I feel like this would make Glycopod absolutely insane in VGC just because like if we look at what's popular, let's say hypothetically Glycopod had the set right now. Incineroar, it's going to get walled by Glycopod uh, while Glycopod's able to hit it back with like liquidation and stuff. Tapu Fini, you could run like a little bit more special defensive and Glycopod could actually sit in and resist the water moves, take the fairy moves fairly decently and just hit it with struggle bugs. You could even run like an assault vest set on this thing and drop the wide guard for something else. Uh, Rillaboom gets absolutely destroyed. Uh, Glacier gets absolutely walled. Regieleki would still be an issue, but Urshifu actually would struggle to knock it out. Even with that um, ab absolute crit move with uh, Wicked Blow, Glyspawn's 140 defense, when you max it out, can take it really, really well. Uh, Porygon, actually an issue. Landorus, is one of the Pokemon that Glyspot would actually wall pretty hard, even though it has access to max Airstream and Rock Slide. The fact of the matter is when you intimidate that thing, it's not actually going to be able to one-shot Glyspot most of the time. So I think that's a really big thing to take into account if I were to give this guy Intimidate. Finally, I feel like an ability that would make the most sense. If you haven't noticed, I'm going for abilities that make sense thematically, not something random. Like I wouldn't just sit in here and say like, oh yeah, I want to give Glycopod um, speed boost. That would make no sense. Like why would I give this guy speed boost? It's not like he gets faster and faster as the match goes on. In fact, he's only fast like the first turn. So the one that made the most sense for me is Overcoat. And that's just because he has literal armor. And if we look at other Pokemon with the ability Overcoat, um, you can see that they pretty much have armor on them. Cloyster has like a little armor on, has like his shell as armor. Uh, Kamoa has those scales as armor. Escavalier has literal armor. Shelgon is very, you know, armored up by its skin. There are some exceptions like Volibi, who the overcoat is like the feathers and stuff. And Solosis and Reuniclus, where they're just kind of weird looking. But I feel like overcoat makes the most sense for Glycopod as well. And this would actually allow him to be a solid answer to anti-trick room options like, um, what's it, what's his name? Uh, like Amoongus. So Amoongus wouldn't be able to support this thing since Overcoat is essentially a built-in safety goggles. You could actually run a offensive 
trick room set. So you could run like first impression, taunt, liquidation, leech life. And the reason I put taunt in there is because when a Pokemon has overcoat, uh, it's actually very reliable for stopping trick room. Since it's not able to be redirected by rage powder or anything, you can stop the trick room a lot better. So if you know they're trying to trick room on your trick room, you can go for that. You can even stop opposing spores on your um on your own Pokemon. So like if the Amoongus wanted to spore your partner, well you're gonna outspeed it and go for taunt on that. So that'd be really good. It would also just increase the longevity of him for not having to switch out. You wouldn't care about things like um, hail or sand damage or anything to proc your emergency exit. Overcoat would just immediately negate that. Um, on top of that, you don't have emergency exit, but just the huge difference in like hail being such a detrimental thing to Glyspot to it being absolutely nothing is super important. I think that's something that we should take into consideration when we're buffing this Pokemon. As for moveset buffs, I really don't see anything that Glyspot would want. It already has access to knockoff from move tutors in previous generations. Not that it matters in this VGC format, but I could see it getting it back again. It has access to Razor Cell. You could even run like a Swords Dance full priority set. Like, Glyspot pretty much has everything it needs to succeed. It's literally just its ability that holds it back. If we look at a way that I've adapted Glyspot for the current metagame, I'm going to spoil a little bit of my Player's Cup team. Um, here, so the Glyspot set that I'm running... He's got safety goggles. He's extremely specially defensive. Literally, this guy is just calced to activate Colossal's weakness policy, and he's not going to get rage powdered or anything. That's like super important with the safety goggles. On top of that, um, I've calced this guy so, like, at this EV spread, Timid Max Special Attack Regio, like he's Electroweb, actually won't switch me out. I'm going to take 49% maximum from that, which means that I can reliably stay in against Regieleki, and I could hit it with a first impression and then follow it up with like an Aqua Jet. Like that's so huge. So yeah, uh, I, I feel like we shouldn't have to try this hard to use Colossal. I had to try really, really hard to make Colossal work in the first place for that team. And I, it's, it's like a good team, right? But I feel like when the bar is set, like with, when the bar for usage is set so low for other Pokemon like Cinderace, you can just put that on a team with Libero, Max, Max. Um, I feel like when those Pokemon exist, we really shouldn't still have Pokemon like Glycepod where it just is held back by one thing that makes it so, so difficult to find a usage for. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this idea for buffing Glycepod in the comment section down below. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think that it needs a different move set? Do you think maybe it just needs a different ability? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.